The new competitive edge in digital marketing isn't about having a bigger budget. It's about having insane leverage. I'm talking about getting the output of a full creative team for literal pennies. It's a system so effective, design agencies will hate that I'm giving it away for free. And here's why. Their entire business model is built on solving the hardest problem in marketing. How do you make the invisible value of your software or service visible? You can't just use another screenshot of your dashboard or generic stock images. That fails to communicate the actual transformation your product delivers. The solution isn't to work harder. It's to build an automated creative partner. I'm going to give you the entire blueprint for an AI agent that you build once and then use forever. An agent that understands your brand so deeply, all it needs is a simple two-field form to generate four unique, high-quality ad creatives for you in seconds. However, for this blueprint to truly work, you have to understand the core principle of its design. The system's power isn't just in the AI, it's how we program its knowledge. This is forged from two distinct components a core personality, and a visual playbook. So in this video, our plan is simple. I'll walk you through this build step by step. And the only thing you'll need is two things. An N8N account and an OpenAI account for API access. That's it. No complicated setup, no mess of 10 different tools, and no expensive monthly subscriptions. First, we'll create the AI's core personality. Then, its visual playbook which is the key to unlocking its true creative potential. All right, one last thing before we dive in. I want to make this as easy as possible for you to follow along. I've packaged up the entire NNN workflow file, the full system prompt, and the Google Sheet template in my Google Drive for you to download for free. The link is in the description. Okay, enough talk. Let's open up a new workflow and start building. First, every workflow needs a trigger. We'll use the on-form submission. This allows us to create a web form that will kick off our entire process. I'll title it Campaign Assets, and for the form description, I'll write, let's create some awesome campaign visuals. The first field we need is for the vibe. It's where we'll type our creative direction, like a topic, event, or mood. And make sure to toggle the required field on. Next, we'll add another form element for the style. This one is important. We'll make it a drop-down list to control the input. The options in this list will be the exact style IDs from our visual playbook, which we will create later. For this demo, I've chosen Corporate Minimal, Dynamic Tech, Human Centric, Premium Enterprise, and Data Driven. Make it a required field and hit Test Step. This opens up our newly created form. Fill it out with some sample data, choose a style, and submit the form. Great, we got our input. Let's go ahead and pin this data. This will lock in our sample input so we can use it to test all the next steps without having to refill the form. Now, for the main event, let's bring in our AI agent. First, we need to feed it the user's request. We'll set the source for prompt to define below. Here we provide the agent with our form's input, which you can drag in from the left side. Repeat the same step for the style. After that, we add our system message. I'm pasting the entire prompt here, which you can grab from the free documentation I linked in the description. I know it looks like a wall of text, but don't worry, we're going to break it down. And most importantly, this prompt is a template. I've written it for the brand Stripe as a demo. I'm going to show you exactly which parts you'll need to change to adapt this for your own business. Okay, remember how our goal is to forge a core personality and a visual playbook. This prompt is where we create the personality. This happens right here at the top in the role and context sections. This is the unchanging DNA of your brand. And getting these two sections right is what separates a generic, unpredictable AI from a reliable, in-house creative partner. The role is our first move. By assigning a professional persona like Creative Director, we're priming the AI to adopt a specific mindset. 
it starts thinking about what makes a good ad, not just following a basic command. The context section. This is basically the rule book for your brand. It's where you put your most important rules, like your main brand color, the way you want to sound, and any words you want to avoid. This is how we solve the biggest problem with AI image generation. Consistency. By defining this context once, you ensure that every single output from now on will feel like it came from your team. This section you'll have to customize the most. Once you've done that, you have successfully encoded your brand's personality into the AI. Next, we give it its mission. That's the task section. This is the master instruction that tells the AI how to blend its core personality with a style from the visual playbook. And notice this key line right here. Use the style parameters as a creative foundation, not as a rigid checklist. This is critical. We're giving the AI permission to be creative, which is how we consistently get unique results. The rest of the prompt, tool instructions, constraints, output format, and the examples are just non-negotiable rules. They instruct the AI on how to access its tools and format its answers, ensuring the rest of our workflow can utilize the data without errors. You won't need to touch these, except for changing out the example prompts to match your own brand. Now that we've defined what the AI should say, we need to enforce how it says it. First, toggle on required specific output format. This tells the agent that its answer must be structured. Click right here and connect the structured output parser from the side menu. In the documentation, you'll find a JSON schema example right after the system prompt. Just copy and paste it into this field. Okay, our agent has its personality and its rules. Now it's time to give it its visual playbook. And this is it. This Google Sheet unlocks the agent's real power. And it's not just a list of styles, it's a strategic guide. Look at this column here, strategic use case. This is the key. It connects a visual style directly to a business goal. You're not just picking a look, you're choosing a strategy. One style is for projecting trust, this one is for showing innovation, and the other one is for building an emotional connection. This is the part you'll adapt to your own business. You can completely rewrite these rows to match your brand's needs. Maybe you don't need dynamic tech, but you need an action movie style for something more exciting. You have full control to build out your own brand's unique wardrobe right here. Just grab it from my drive. Now let's connect this playbook to our agent. Grab a Google Sheets tool node. Let's name it Visual Playbook to keep things clear. Set up your Google credentials and connect your sheet. In the filter section, you'll instruct it to look at the style ID column and click on the stars right here to have the agent define that value for us. And just like that, the system is complete. We have an AI with a core personality and we've given it a Visual Playbook to read from. Okay, we've come to the final piece of the puzzle. Our agent has its personality, its rules, and its playbook. Now, we just need to give it the power to think. Let's add the OpenAI chat model as the processing core. We'll choose GPT 4.1 from the dropdown. It's the perfect balance of creative power and efficiency for this system. And a quick note on the credentials. If you're not sure how to get your API key, my last video on building your first AI content agent has a super clear step-by-step -step guide. I've linked that for you in the description to make it easy. Okay, the agent is fully configured. Let's hit test workflow and see it in action. Okay, and there we have it, four unique image prompts. Now, to be sure it worked correctly, let's open the execution logs. You can see right here that the tool was called successfully. It pulled the data for human-centric from our Google Sheet. Perfect. Don't forget to click on the agent and hit P to pin its data for the next steps. Okay, with our agent ready to generate prompts, we need to handle the visuals. For this setup, we need a reference image of your brand's logo. Just upload a PNG of your logo to a Google Drive folder. Once it's uploaded, right-click on the file, Hit share, then copy the link. Now, back in N8N, add a Google Drive download node. Select by ID, paste in your link into the file ID field, and then delete everything except the long string of random characters in the middle. That's the actual ID. That's a test step. 
And just like that, you can see that NNN has successfully downloaded the logo. Okay, you can see here that we have a single item of four prompts. In the next step, and this is critical, we need to split it into four separate jobs. Each new job must contain two pieces of data, one of the prompts and a copy of our logo. The split out node is designed exactly for this. In the configuration, we need to point it to the output.prompts field. Then in the fields to include, we add the binary data from the Google Drive node. This instructs NNN to pair a copy of our logo with each new item it creates. Let's test it. And as you can see, we have four distinct items. Each one has a unique prompt and the logo data, perfectly packaged for the next step. Okay, it's time to create some campaign visuals. I'll add an HTTP request node. We will configure it to call the GPT image one API. Instead of building this HTTP request node field by field, we're going to import it. In the documentation I provided, you'll find a curl command. Go ahead and copy that entire block of text. Now back in our HTTP node, click the import curl button at the top. Paste the command in and just like that, NNN populates most of the fields for us. This gets us 90% of the way there in seconds. We just need to make a few critical tweaks to connect our dynamic data. First, paste in your OpenAI API key right here after bearer. Then scroll down to the parameters. Where it says prompt, delete this value and drag in our prompt expression from before. Here you can set the dimension of the generated images, where you can choose between square, horizontal and vertical. To help speed up your development process, the image quality is initially set to low. Once you're ready, simply change it to high to generate images with the best possible detail. At last, the input data field name is just data for our reference image and call it image gen. After you set everything up, let's hit test workflow. Great, the images were generated, but we got them back as a long string of text called base64. We need to convert that back into a real image file. The code node is perfect for this. Just copy the JavaScript snippet from the docs I provided and paste it in. It simply turns the base64 string into a binary file for the next step. Before we hit test step, to see if it works, make sure to pin the data of the image gen node to prevent it from rerunning. All right, great, we got our images. And don't worry, I know it looks hideous, but this is only to keep the development costs low. After we're done building the system, we will change the quality to high and check the results again. Now that we have a real image file, let's save it. I'll add a Google Drive upload node. Let's give our files a simple name, like the current date with .png. I'll point it to the Add Creators folder, hit Test Workflow. Great, the images are now saved. Finally, every good process needs a paper trail. I'll look up a Google Sheets node and select Append Row in Sheet. And I'll connect it to my Add Creators spreadsheet, which is just a simple sheet with these four columns. Then I'll just map the data from our workflow, the original vibe, the style ID, the prompt we used, and the web view link to our newly created image on Google Drive. Great, let's do a final test run. Make sure to unpin all your data, open the image gen node, and set the quality from low to high. Hit save and activate the workflow. Now, in the form submission node, grab the production URL and open it in your browser. I'll test it with the same vibe as before, but I'm gonna choose a different style. Let's go with premium enterprise and hit submit. About a minute later, we get four new creative assets. And I really like how they turned out, especially that one looks super clean. All right, and just like that, your AI creative engine is now live. No more generic images, no more creative block, just a constant stream of on-brand visuals whenever you need them. 
If you got value from this, please hit like and subscribe for more. All the links, prompts and the workflow template are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.